Hi, this is Mr. Z, and you're in Iron Dog Studio in Baudrillard de Rion. Uh, I'm a producer. I produce all kinds of bands, starting from folk music to heavy metal. Sorry, no country. You can look me up on uh, MySpace, Iron Dog Studio. You can look me up on Reverb Nation, Iron Dog Studio. Or you can look me up at RadioRockCafe.com with my own show called Riffin' It Out with Mr. Z. All about independent music background and what goes on behind the scenes, like right now, what goes on behind the scenes. And uh, you can catch my show every second Sunday of every month on RadioRockCafe.com. Cool. So would you like to talk about your history of working with music? Well, I've been a singer since I was 16 years old and I'm uh, on foreign trip right now, so that's a lot of years. <laughs> I've been producing bands for over 10 years. Uh, as you can see, I have my own little studio. It's a home studio, but I got nice big sounds. You can check out the sounds on MySpace too. And uh, I've been in metal bands since I was a little girl actually. And uh, I quit singing uh, 10 years ago. And now I love doing this more than being in a band. Okay, cool. So from your experiences from being in a band and being a music producer now, what is it that you use that experience to record? Well, the experience from being a musician before and being a producer now, I actually like doing this because from my perspective, I kind of get the sense or feeling of what musicians want, want to hear, want to do, what should I stay out of, what should I put my nose into, what should I change, what I shouldn't change, so I'm not blowing smoke out of my ass, famous saying, but uh, so far I haven't had any complaints in 10 years about bands, and uh, they all like what I do, and what I don't do, because sometimes I just let them go and let it flow, and as long as they're happy, I'm open to anything. What's part of the process of recording for you? The process of recording, that's a good question. I usually tell bands to be prepared and have a very good foundation. Not to have anything in, in concrete as per se, because when you have everything in concrete and the bands are, this is it, and they go to studio and they actually listen to their recording, there's going to be changes. Because once you're playing or practicing, mistakes go by or false notes go by, you don't notice until they're actually on tape. So, basically that's it. What's your definition of uh, live music versus studio music? I love live music a lot more than studio music. That's why, in my studio, I do not like overproducing bands. I want them to sound exactly what they would sound live, only cleaned up without any mistakes. So, as a live fan, I've loved the show, I try to capture as best I can in recording in my studio without, like I said, overproduction. Mm -hmm. I will not record what you cannot do live. And I'm, I'm not a fan of playing with a computer on stage. You have mm -hmm. to do it. If you can't play it, don't. Because mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of bands, they record music and then it sounds so great and then they go perform it. And they can't do it. I know, because and it's you're overproduced. Like, Whoa, and a lot of people go to concerts and they're like, wow, it was uh, actually Maroon 5 that people were dissing. And they were saying, wow, he doesn't sound, his vocals doesn't sound as great as the album when he would perform live. And they would be like, something was done, something was tweaked. Because everything is tweaked. If a singer can't sing in the studio, they'll auto-tune it and make him sound amazing. And if they don't bring that auto-tuner in stage then it, it won't sound like the recording and mm -hmm. you feel like you got ripped off and you want your money back mm -hmm. or it could have been just a bad night unless you go see them the only way to prove it is go see the band three four times mm -hmm. and if three four times they're not playing they're playing the same crappy way then you got your answer mm -hmm. overproduced mm -hmm. you're buying a false advertised product yeah so what do you think about this whole explosion of music in Canada where bands are promoting themselves and really getting out there as to before when you were in a band oh uh, in my ago. days in my days we used to have to use our tongues to lick the envelopes and CDs or not even CDs tapes yeah PO boxes PO boxes and send them all over the world and we'd have to wait a year maybe two years to have any kind of response 
Nowadays, you just click, upload, bang, and you got already a hundred people listening to it in, in less than ten minutes. Mm -hmm. So I love I love today's new digital world. Yeah. Love it. So like when a band puts some their music online, how can they protect themselves from mischievous people stealing from them? Well, you can protect yourself by before putting it online. Like I advise people, I'm not saying it's the best way, but it is a good way. You take your song, you take your lyrics, uh, you put your names, who's the writer, who's the lyric writer, social insurance number, put it in an envelope, registered mail to yourself, and never open it until somebody actually st steals your song. Mm -hmm. Then a judge will open it. You never open it, because as soon as you open that envelope before it, a judge puts his hand on it, you're screwed. Forget mm -hmm. it. What is uh, some of the benefits of working with radio now? Oh, radio, that's amazing. I had uh, Ben from Radio Rock Cafe and Lulu uh, proposed to me a little show of mine called Whiffing It Out, and I'm having a freaking good time. Uh, it's amazing. I'm meeting all kinds of people, all kinds of faces, all kinds of uh, other kind of people, and uh, it's fun to do. Let me uh, promo. RadioRockCafe.com my show's called Riffin' It Out, but it's not just my show. They play all kinds of amazing music. You can go on their website. You can click on Request. Request any song you want that's on the list, and there's a shitload of songs. It's 24-7 music, and of course there's talking. You see a schedule on the website, and uh, it's fun to listen to. You can go in the chat room, have some fun, and you can add me on MSN um, at Z at RadioRockCafe.com. That's Z-E-E. -E at RadioRockCafe.com and any other staff member of Radio Rock Cafe, Adam too. Look me up on Facebook, look me up on MySpace, just Google Iron Dog Studio or Radio Rock Cafe, you'll get all the staff members. Mm. Cool. So like from what you see every day in music, do you live and breathe music? No, I do not live and breathe music. I eat, drink, shit music. <laughs> <laughs> because a lot of people who music work with music is it's right in here. their heart, it's in their blood. It's in my blood, it's in my veins, it's in my heart. I've been doing music since I was a very small age. But I gotta admit, I do not miss singing in bands. I love doing this a hell of a lot more mm -hmm. because I get to meet more people and see different genres and I do not miss loading and unloading freaking gear from club to club and I do not miss here's your pay it's a case of beer and I do not miss we got no money <laughs> I love doing my job right now I'm having a lot more fun so what has been your best experience recording and your worst experience recording Every day is my best experience. Every day is something new. That's why I love this job. Every day is something new because it's always different. It's not the same. I mean, during recording, it's the same because we get to hear the same song about 300 times over and over again. And then at night, you can't sleep. Right, guys? Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. all you hear is that song. But once a couple of days goes by, you can go back and it's all fresh and new and it sounds amazing. So I love my job. Hmm. What do you uh, wish to achieve in the next three to five years? The next three to five years, what I wish to achieve is, uh, achieve that is, uh, yeah, your goals. Uh, I don't really have giant goals. I just love what I do and whatever comes, comes. Whatever doesn't, doesn't. Mm -hmm. I'm still here. I'm still me. I'm not just the producer. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got a wife. I got kids. I got a life. Mm -hmm. This is not all I do. Yeah. So I don't dwell on that. Mm -hmm. So uh, what's your website? My website is on MySpace, Iron Dog Studio, and it's on Reverb Nation, Iron Dog Studio, or you can find me on Facebook, Iron Dog Studio, or Z Radio Rock Cafe. And you can find me on Radio Rock Cafe. And make sure you listen to my show <laughs> on RadioRockCafe.com. Be there. Oh yeah, one more thing. Give me rocks! Me!